Caution is out for the third time at Gateway. Randy LaJoy out of his car walking around, waiting for Ashton Lewis Jr., the pole sitter, to climb out of that car in the middle. And Coy Gibbs is the third car involved in the back of Gibbs' car is destroyed. Watch the right upper corner of your screen and those cars will come into view. Right there. There's there's going to be the hard hit right Ooh. there. That's when Randy LaJoy and the seven car came in there. I mean, it happened right in front of him, just nowhere for him to go. But I look at poor Ashton Lewis in the 46 car. I mean, this is the way this kid's luck has been all year long, and it's just continued here even after sitting on the pole yesterday. What a disappointment. What happened up there to you? It is. Uh, I'm not sure. I saw Coy getting turned around or uh, spinning, and we came to the inside and thought we had it missed, and somebody hit him from the top side and spun him down in front of us. It, it took us out. You know, this whole Silver Patrol crew has been smiling a whole lot this weekend with our first pole position, and we went out there and led some laps. And uh, day after a little bit in the run, I figured we'd end the car to, to lead that race and just kind of took a back seat for a little while and was waiting for that first pit stop to adjust it. Charlie made some good changes. Thought we were uh, making some headway with that car. Not sure if we would have anything for that 20 car, but we're going to walk away with uh, a top 10 from this race no matter what. And just kind of biding our time and kind of got picked up again in somebody else's mess. So What happened to get that thing going? I don't know. We were having a crummy day. We were just trying to get the MBA Chevrolet a little better. And uh, I don't know. It just probably cost some guys some good finishes. We were running the back two laps down, uh, just trying to stay out of the way, but, you know, got a little wreck there. I don't know what we have to do to get some luck for Kimberly Clark and Kleenex. Man, we had a decent race car today. Uh, just biding our time. I don't want to just stay out of trouble. We haven't had uh, any finishes here lately, and a couple lap cars got together up front of it, and one went high, one went low, and I was splitting them, and then one that went low, come back up the racetrack, and I hit him pretty hard. It's going to feel so good when the monkey gets off your back. <laughs> yeah, you were kidding.